hello it's Sarah I finished the pieces that I made with those tiles I must start it singing I don't know why uh, so this is the frame let's do the box first I have very few tiles left too um, the frame actually started getting fudgy at the end because I put a lot of little ones together um, I didn't end up using any of the the black ones that I just stamped the words on and put mica powder on and I don't know why I just decided I didn't want to I just stopped I just pulled them out and just went with the gold accent instead so I have very few tiles left so here's my box one of the little these are the little boxes that I get at AC Moore and they're just um, not chip chipboard uh, balsa balsa wood or something like that they're very light pine and I glue little feet on there you can buy these packets of all different styles and sizes and um, I glue those on and then I paint the box I've been signing my name with my metallic sharpie like you guys suggested and then I um, varnish on top of that um, and for this one, I decided to go with metallic purple inside. I do it gold a lot. A lot of, I think every other box I've ever done, I've painted gold inside. Uh, this one I just decided to go with all black. So I laid the tiles down on black. So there's no gold under there. Um, and let's zoom in a little bit. I decided to do the box first so that I could have my pickings of the tiles that I created. <clears throat> that way um, I could pick small ones and I really love how it turned out. I just went with, like I said, the gold leafing as the accent and I happen to use four of the ones that I used the, um, the stamp detail on, this circular kind of, oops, sorry, pattern. I stamped this into the gold leafing and used four of those for the top. Pretty simple, not very many tiles. Um, I didn't antique any of the ones that I embedded the, be um, the buttons in. I left them just a pop of color and then I did antique the, um, all the other bead, um, beads, tiles that I made. I ended up making another batch. Now look, this is what I did. If I think there's too much color or it looks a little messy you just take a toothpick and kind of scrape it away that's what I've been doing and it cleans it up really nice after it's dry see I really just wanted the paint to go in the the lines that I made so you don't I, if it's like anywhere I don't want it I just been scraping it off with a toothpick um, so yeah so this is the fr the top I should say and then I put the gold, I'm sorry, purple bling on the side. I've been doing this lately and I really like it. Um, I happen to have some. It's from probably from the $1.50 bin at Michael's because that's where I've gotten most of it. And so I added that and painted the purple. I painted the feet, just the bottoms purple and left the top black. And then I went around and put, you know, a good variety of, of tiles let's see oh I did use the accent tiles on the on the sides so here's the printed one the stamp printing and then I just um, used um, mica powders on that but see like this tile if I think this has a little too much paint right there just scrape it and it comes right off like it, it, it looks smudgy you know what I mean it's just I don't know but it actually comes off and it looks neater. So I'll go around and I'll clean it all up. Um, what else? I did end up putting one little piece of ball chain on here. That's it. Just one little piece because that was a skinny little section. I could have put um, my micro beads or anything. Anything that will fit in there. And see here's another little piece of that tile. So yeah, I put it on the sides because I didn't want to use too many of the the like colorful tiles on the sides of the boxes because I wanted to make sure I had enough for my frame so and I didn't put one on this side 
uh, but this I put the little printing tiles on there so super cute and on the um, with the gold leafing I just did all four are different all four of them have a different um, pattern so that's the box I'm loving that I'm putting it on the sides of the box too now and I love the color the colors on this is amazing so here's the frame go up a little bit I think it turned out pretty good like I said I only had a small amount pretty much by the time I got all the bigger ones on here I kind of started getting down to the little ones so there's you'll see there's a lot more little ones put together than having big ones so like this side might have been more of the big ones but then there's a few like mostly here and here is where I was finishing up this was all put in but I loved using these and see this right here this is another spot that I can just take my oh I see, I see this take my toothpick and kind of brighten it up if I want to which I mean it doesn't really need it because I kind of like that uh, patina look I've gotten so much more used to it now um, that it doesn't really bother me if just if something's really kinda hitting me and I can't shake it you know I'll do it but anyway so on this one I didn't use like I said I didn't use any of those the black tiles but I used all the gold leafing with different finishes so I did the circles I have one two two circles one two plain one two printing and a leaf and this is like some other kind of pattern and but I just try to space them so that they're evenly spaced throughout the piece so that it's not like just metallic everywhere and I I don't think I used any other filler on this like I didn't put microbeads in any spaces there's a nice big space right here that I could put something like a circle bling um, I mean there's there are some gaps but I thought I would just leave it sometimes I do that sometimes the gaps don't bother me and it just looks fine and nothing's really screaming out to me on this one that it needs to be filled so I'm gonna leave it and again like you guys suggested I signed my name it's just got some dry glue on the back I already varnished it and this is done on one of the dollar frames from Michaels and it comes with this little dowel you gotta kind of work it in there but I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my Etsy store loaded this will go in my Etsy store but it's like a stand so it'll stand up um, yeah so I love them and these are getting to be really easy for me now once you've got a stash and I did end up making another batch I had to make another batch um, from the time that you got that I did the tutorial showing you how I did them I ended up making another batch because I just I didn't have enough I knew I wanted to make a frame and a box so um, but see how I just cleaned up inside that star um, yeah other than that I think it looks really really good I don't like I said I don't mind the patina on some of them I think it looks good alright you guys so my um, mosaic tile my polymer clay tiles have evolved so much from about let's see four years ago when I took my first class with Lori well my only class with Lori Micah um, then I got her book man I have come a long way to just this bright bright color so anything goes when you're making polymer clay tiles um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and thanks for watching